Welcome everybody to Winging It. Today it's beautiful out here. Wonderful spring day, 65, 70 degrees, just freaking beautiful. Anyway, we're going to fire up the Blackstone griddle and do some lamb burgers. I know a lot of you don't like this, but pull up a seat over there, get you a pencil and a piece of paper, and write this recipe down. I believe you'll really love it. We one, tried this once before and it's really, really good. So, next time you see us, we're going to be mixing all this stuff together, and I'll give you a little rundown on all the ingredients. All right, here we go with the ingredients. We're going to start out with a pound of ground lamb, and then we're going to go over to here. Yes, all these ingredients are going to be in here. We've got a half a red onion, a medium-sized, chopped fine, two ounces of feta cheese. We've got four tablespoons of fresh mint chopped. We've got two tablespoons of fresh parsley chopped. And from Trader Joe's, I, I'll highlight their stuff. I'm sorry, but I love their, their spices. We've got one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of South African smoked. I suggest you both try both of those. All right, and we've got a teaspoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and Combined all together, we're going to make these, we're going to combine all this together and make three patties. Now, if you wanted to go with smash burgers, you could actually do six, but I kind of like the thickness of it. So, the next time you see us, we're going to be firing up that Blackstone. All right, here you go. Three of them. They come up to just a tad over seven ounces a piece. Like I said, you can break these in half, but what you want to do, since it is a ground meat, you want to cook these to 160 degrees internal and I didn't mention it but we're gonna make our own tzatziki sauce if, if I pronounce that wrong somebody uh, shoot me something on this set then tell me how to pronounce it tzatziki which will be consisting of <clears throat> excuse me be eight ounces of plain Greek yogurt uh, four ounces of diced cucumber. When you cut your cucumber, peel it. Take the seeds out because if you don't, it'll, the moisture content will be too high and it'll be real watery. So, four ounces of diced cucumber, real fine. One to two cloves of minced garlic and another tablespoon of fresh mint. The juice of one lemon, which roughly is about two tablespoons. All right, let's get these boogers on the grill. All right, here we go. We've got that fire set on a medium to a medium high heat. I want to put a little bit of a sear on each side of it, but as I was saying before, you want to bring this temperature up to 160. These things are really wonderful. I didn't think I would like them, but they're really good. Okay. See you on the flip. Literally, ha <laughs> ha. Well, I told you to be back on the flip. Look at them things. Don't think that's burnt. Let me tell you, that's flavor. I believe this lamb was 80-20. Like I said, medium to medium high. You don't want to cook the outside and have the inside raw. And like I said, get you to 160. I know I keep saying that. All right. All right, here we go with the tzatziki sauce. This is going to be eight ounces of plain Greek yogurt, the four ounces of finely diced cucumber. Like I said, take the seeds out, dice it up kind of fine. Then you're going to go with roughly two cloves of fresh garlic right there, and that little container right there is. The juice of one lemon, which is roughly a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons. And then another tablespoon of fresh chopped up mint. Mix all that together. All right. Let me mix this up together and we'll be back for the taste test. I'm going to kind of zoom in on this real close. On the tzatziki sauce. Add you just a pinch of salt. All right. We've done the taste test on the uh, this version. Now let's get a taste version on this version. 
I don't know how to do this taste test. I don't have my photographer with me to actually put my face on the picture here. But what we can do is do this. Like I said, we've done this version yesterday and I didn't have the feta cheese in it. So let's see what this does. Oh, dude. The feta is there. The taste is there. The tzatziki is wonderful. Wow. Like I said, write this recipe down. I gotta have another bite. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Don't eat the same stuff. Make this. I believe if you give it a try, you'll love it. You can get it at a decent price at Aldi. All right. With that, we're going to leave it with you. Y'all be cool. Love Jesus. Uh, we're getting ready to head down to Orlando. Give you some footage from there. Y'all be cool. Love Jesus, like I said. Check it out on the flip.